everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tahar and today is going to be a yes or pass type of a video, but I like to call it sweet or sour because my name is Sahar and sweet and sour and you get it. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe down below if you like to watch these kinds of videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be informed when I upload. We're going to go on Instagram, look at the new stuff, the new releases for this week and we're going to see if they are indeed sweet or sour. I don't like comparing myself to being sour but anyway. Let's just get into the video. So we're gonna scoot, 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 scoot. So let us begin with the new rave right now, which is Fenty Skin. I have very problematic skin, so I kind of feel a little bit weird trying out new things, new or companies that are just getting into the skin game. I mean, Rihanna has gorgeous skin, so I feel like I'd rather spend my money on a company that has already proven results, that has reviews from people who have used it for a long time, not only people who've used it for like once or like a week. So this is a no for me, but maybe one day, maybe after a year, I don't know. And if I can afford the product, it's kind of pricey. But yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not interested in this. Not yet, anyway. See, this is not makeup related, but Desi is already um, launching. It's already available. She's launching her brand, Desi, which she, she sell, sells sunglasses. And I love Desi, um, but these sunglasses are expensive. Like, $65 to $75 a pop. Like, that's expensive. And though they look gorgeous, you can find cheaper sunglasses for great quality somewhere else i mean if you're a fan of desi and if you have the money go ahead i'm a fan of desi but i don't have the money if i did maybe i'd buy one or two maybe one because it's really expensive um but if you want to know the style i really like are like aviator style so it's like the 200s i think that's 2000s those that's a style i kind of more like i prefer i graduate Tape towards. Next is a new mascara by L'Oreal. This is the Air Volume Mega Mascara. I thought it was a lip lipstick or a lip gloss at first. The packaging looks like a lipstick or a lip gloss, but I'm not sure yet. I am interested in this though because I have the Lash Paradise and I absolutely love that. But I'm growing tired of it. I've I've used up like maybe three or four bottles already. The one I'm using now is a new bottle and I'm not even going out <laughs> anymore because of the lockdown. Next is the Patrick Star one size brand. He he recently reached he recently uh, released a his own company called One Size. And by the way, Patrick Star is from the Philippines. Hey, hey, Philippines. And he released makeup remover wipes, a makeup remover spray, and then a palette and some like shimmers. I'm interested, I'm interested in the shimmers, not so much the palette. And I'm also interested in the makeup wipes because they're supposed to be really, really large. But then I'm thinking if it's going to be kind of expensive, I'll just go with the Neutrogena wipes or whatever. But I am interested in that spray as well because I love me a good makeup remover product right now i am loving the pons cleansing balm and i'm also loving the clinique take the day off like the shake the thing you have to shake and remove your makeup with i love those two those are my two ride or dies next is wayne goss oh, i love wayne goss and i really want to support him but i mean his products are a little bit more in the higher range they're for people who can actually afford it <laughs> What I'm interested in is the eyeliner, the coal pens. I am still looking for a, like a really good black and brown eyeliner pen that does not smudge, that does not you know, bleed and everything, and that lasts the whole day because I have very watery eyes and quite, a, quite oily skin. So those I'm interested in. Morphe is releasing their new makeup line called Morphe 2, which is I think more directed to like the younger, more millennial, aka not me <laughs> but i'm not interested in this at all like seriously i guess that's why they like you you know who they're targeting because and I, I know that i'm not one of the people who they're targeting because i'm not interested in any of these products maybe the brush and uh, but everything else i just don't like i mean they're just to me they're kids stuff <laughs> i'm 
so sorry. I mean, they're just, just I'm, I'm old, okay? That's it, I'm, I'm just too old. Viseart is releasing two eyeshadow palettes. One is more like an orangey, peachy glow. The other is more mauve and rose. I prefer the mauve and rose, but I like warm tones. I'm obviously wearing something a little bit more cool toned right now. Um, I'm wearing the ABH and Carly Bible palette plus the Zodiac palette with Kathleen Knights and ColourPop. So I do like this 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 launch it's but it's very simple and i feel like there's a there's a lack of depth in the palettes like there's they all look kind of light and so i'm not very interested in these although i know that busy art people like busy art they have a good formula i'm just not interested in any of these they're beautiful but eh, not interested so next there is a skin shield blurring primer which is a plant-based primer this is from Peach and Lily. I, I like that it's a skin shield blurring primer, but why is it skin shielding? Is there SPF? It doesn't seem to say that there's SPF. So what exactly is it shielding the skin from? I mean, I don't really like primers very much. I haven't found like the holy grail primer that would change my skin game. I haven't found that yet. So I'm gonna keep this in mind. Okay, one thing I'm interested in is the Huda Beauty Nymph All Over Highlighting Powder. This is just gorgeous. I'm a sucker for packaging and I'm a sucker for roses. Like peonies and roses are like my favorite flowers. And this is giving me that exact thing. And the gorgeous packaging is it's, it's stunning packaging. It's like a pink, it's a nude, it's a rose. And it seems like the highlighter would go with a lot of skin tones, although I doubt it would go with my skin tone. I'm just afraid. I mean, this is how many? $55 and it is just there's only one shade that's what i'm wondering why do companies come out with just one shade some things at least come out with two or three shades you know and this is such a beautiful product i would expect them to come out with at least three shades but no okay fine never mind i don't want this though um i did see some reviews of lighter skin people rocking this that's why i'm curious and i do want it but again, it's $55. What I like to see is a comparison between the Soul Body a glitter uh, highlighter and this highlighter and if they're the same or not. Next is Dragon Beauty. She is releasing some liquid lipsticks. I think this is matte liquid lipsticks. I'm not sure, but the swatches seem matte. I'm not a fan of Nikita Dragon per se. I mean, I am very interested in her like those color correcting uh, concealers, the orange one. I had expected her to come up with for more of the colors of that concealer she did not but she went on to release some compacts and whatever and then now she's releasing liquid lipsticks don't you feel like her launches are just kind of strange and all over the place but anyway i'm interested in okay never mind i just saw the name never mind nikita and dragon blood are nice the others yeah, no thing patrick ta has released two new colors one lipstick and one li lip liner. They're both in vibrant print. Vibrant, but why can't I speak, say? Vibrant pink, pink shades, and they're matte. I want to try pa Patrick Ta's formulas and his, but they're a little bit out of my price range. But I'm very interested in his products. Not so much this shade though. I, I just don't look good in pinks. I guess this is a like a neon swirl, real techniques sponge. I don't know. I don't like it. It looks dirty and I guess it will make my sponges look less dirty than they already are because this already looks dirty. Um, but no, I'm not interested in this. I actually don't like the Real Techniques sponge. I prefer the LA Girl sponge. Uh, I love that sponge. It's super soft, super great. I love that sponge. And I'm perfectly fine, fine, fine. I'm perfectly fine with my pink sponges or whatever color because i know that the color will doesn't really matter because it's gonna get ruined anyway <laughs> next kylie is having kylie has new lip blush kits I'm not really interested in anything kylie right now available now is a new unity balm unity balm oh it's like a it's like a skin gloss this is confusing but i'm not interested in it because number one i have pretty oily skin an oily t-zone and dry like, combinations and I have lots of texture a lot of scarring and if you put anything shiny slimy shiny or glossy on top it will enhance the like the, the texture of your skin so this is the past for me 
there are new there are four new color drops from the M Cosmetics Serum Blushes. How do you pronounce it? Serum or serum? Anyway, leave it in the comments down below. I love this. Actually, last time when she released these, I wasn't very, you know, keen on trying them because they're a serum blush. They seem kind of oily and I have I had like oily skin. But then I have like right now I have like a little bit of a dry, more of a dry cheek area and you put your blushes on your cheeks. So this does intrigue me. I love these shades. I did watch her video of these on her cheeks. They look absolutely stunning. And she did claim that they do not like disturb the makeup underneath. I want to test that out. It's just these are kind of more expensive, $25 each. But yeah, I do really want to try them. I'm really interested in that lilac shade, although I feel like I won't be able to rock it. Maybe with this look I will, but I don't think I'm going to rock it easily. Um, but my favorite is the Venetian Rose and that like a peachy peach color. I really love those. Deck of Scarlet has released like Mystic Proof Blush and Bronzers, but they look like foundation, so they're liquid blush and bronzers, I guess. I am not gonna rock these for sure because it says Mystic Proof, but the problem with me is I usually use powder, sometimes cream, never any liquid, um, liquid, what is this, blush and bronzers. So I feel like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm going to have a lot of mistakes. I'm not used to, especially bronzers, because bronzers, you have to be like precise or you have to like be able to place it in a certain area in your face to make it look like it's supposed to be there. And if it's liquid, I'm kind of scared. Maybe the blush is okay, but the liquid, no. Buxom has their fall collection, full on plumping cream and polish like glosses and then lipsticks. I really want to try Buxom. I've heard good things. But again, it's like another nude lip. How many nude lips can you own? I have a lot of nude lips, so I don't need these. I want them, but I don't need them. There are new eyeshadow palettes from Revolution. I Heart Revolution. They're burger shaped. Um, and I think they're very cute, but I'm not into this. I think it's just a little too kid-ish. And I am not into them. Okay, next... We have this like a Sephora, oh, it's Patrick Ta again. He has like a glow collection, like these, I think they're cream highlighters. And then there's like this spray. He's all about the glow, I know this. He's all about the glow. He has a soft softening lip mask. Oh, it's a lip mask. And then Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist, which is great. I love that. And an all over glow balm. Okay, the lip mask I'm currently using is the Lanier lip mask which is what I love and uh, I don't really see myself reaching and trying other things because I love that so much and these are nice but it's just not I, I don't think it's something I would want in my skincare it's like all about the glow and I'm all about the oil so this is a pass for me oh speaking of Lanier I think I'm saying that right Lanier there's a new gummy bear flavor. Yes, I want this. I want this. I'm going to get it if I have it in the, like, the small size. I know that they sell it in these like tiny, tiny travel size, sample size. And I want this. I want this. I really want this. I'm going to get this. Yes. Next, Glow Recipe has a papaya sorbet uh, enzyme cleansing balm. I don't like papaya. I don't like eating papaya. I don't like the smell of papaya. I just don't like papaya. So this is a definite pass for me. ColourPop has a new... It's, it's a new formula in their collection. This is the Wild Nothing collection. Pretty sure you've heard of it because it sold out the first time they launched. But in this collection, they have two new things. So let me talk about the palette. No, I don't like the palette very much. I feel like it's just too basic for me. I'm always interested in their blushes and highlights and, and bronzers. But what I want to talk about is their new cream. These are like cream eyeshadows. They're $8 a pop and I kind of feel like they're kind of cute. I like Laurel and Bronco. Those I want to try. And they also have these new Lux lip oils. They're not like their glosses. They're different. These are lip oils, but they're tinted. So they're interesting. I'm not interested in those, but I really want to try those uh, cream eyeshadows. Next, Urban Decay is releasing a new uh, Urban, Decay De Decay. <laughs> Urban Decay spray, which is ultra glow. So it's for the people who want to glow up. And... Um, that's okay. I, I'm not interested. In, again, I, I like being a little bit more matte because I have the natural glow oils. Uh, it's a moisture cream by Kopari Beauty. Coconut water moisture cream. Oh, 
that sounds so good. I really want to try this. Uh, this is for all skin types, but created with oily combination skin in mind. That's me. That, that's me. It's made for me. Don't you love it when a product is made for you? Ah. Here we have the cover effects. They have this luminous tinted moisturizer. I don't like tinted moisturizers because I have quite a bit of acne scarring and tinted moisturizers don't have that like what do you call it? full coverage. So unfortunately, this is not a yes for me. So another one, it is by the Crayon Case. They have a new blush binder. I'm sweating so much. I turned off my fan because so it's, it's so loud. I did buy a blush palette before and I ended up using like one or two shades only. So I feel like I'm going to do this. It's going to happen with this as well. Next is BBH Cosmetics. This was already out, but I really want to talk about this because this, this is so adorable. This is BBH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Collection. And when you stack the, the palettes up, they look like an ice cream. And I really, I feel like they missed an opportunity here though. Like I really wanted them to come up with something that's more for lighter skin tones and call that sugar cone. And one for darker skin tones as a neutral, more that's going to be called sh chocolate chip or something. So, you know, nudes, they're not anymore the beige. Nudes are now all throughout the whole spectrum of light to dark. So I feel like it's a good representation if we have a neutral palette that is really good for light and dark skin. So, but anyway, I still really love these shades and I love the, the look and the, they, they have this like cone thing. I love it. I love it. I really want like three of them. The green, the purpley thing, and then the blue. kind of wish they had a yellow and call it like lemon sherbet or something. It is so hot. I'm sorry. I had a lip sweat. I'm sorry. Okay, so Violet Voss has this new eyeshadow palette called the Essential Essentials 2. Um... Pass. I'm not just sitting in, I don't, I don't, it's not my cup of tea. No, no thanks. Lastly, this is the last one. Glam Light finally released their Glam Donut palette. So you can see it's more like, it's more candy like, like blues and some purples and pinks. And I'm not sure. I was expecting a whole lot more pastels and I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't like it very much. I don't know why. Uh, it's cute, it's just, uh, no, no thank you, nah, no thanks, nah, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Anyway, there you have it, thank you so much, anyway, there you have it, thank you so much for watching, no. There you have it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in any way. Don't forget to comment down below what you like with the new releases, if you are going to be purchasing anything or not. And don't forget to like this video if you did. Comment down below. Keep saying comment down below. I keep saying it twice. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to ring that notification bell to be informed when I upload. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!